You know, Gum, Settlers is a game of discovery and expansion. That's what I always thought. Therefore, you need to develop your settlements into large cities and spawning metropoli. You do that by creating roads, settlements, and cities. To build a road, you must pay a wood and a brick. To form a settlement, you must use a road plus a sheep and a wheat. And finally, the city, the most advanced settlement unit, is created with three ore and two wheat. And might I add that a city replaces a settlement. Development cards in Settlers of Catan may be purchased by using a wheat, an ore, and a sheep. This is the same price goes for all development cards as they are drawn from random. There are many to be had. The soldier, which is the most common, is another way to move the robber baron. Road building. In road building, you may place two roads just as if you had built them, so they must be connected to the rest of your roads or settlements. A monopoly lets you gain any one resource that all other players may hold. So if Frark here was holding three wheat and I called a monopoly on wheat, he would have to give me all his wheat. A year of plenty would give you one or one of the same resource or two of different resources. And finally, we have examples like the market card, which are victory points, and go toward, towards your total of 10 to be the winner. So let's play a game. The first to 10 victory points wins. There you have it. It's a full exploration of the game, Settlers of Catan. Perfect for three to four yes, players. Yes, it was. It should only last about an hour, or if you're playing with Frenchie, four hours. And uh, judging by the state of my affairs, I think it's about time to go. <laughs> I think it's about time to go as well. In fact, the last time I played Settlers, we went for about two hours. Yeah, but not, well, that's the oven. We need to go get our pizza out of the oven, and it looks from the thing, like things that Dave needs to go smoke. So this concludes our final episode.